Guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I regret to inform you that I quit barbering. I quit barbering, I no longer barber. You guys probably know this already if you've really been paying attention to the channel. This is my last day in the suite. I'm actually packing up right now. You probably noticed I haven't been posting any haircut tutorials. I've been basically doing the barbering podcast and talking about money and finance, still talking about MMA and all that stuff, but you're not gonna see any more haircut tutorials. I'm done barbering, I'm selling all my stuff off. You know, if you guys want any of this stuff, drop it in the comments. But why? Why did I quit barbering? Basically because I have additional streams of income. And these additional streams of income have allowed me to walk away from barbering. And like I've been talking about lately, it's very important that barbers have additional streams of income to free you up from your nine to five or really just anyone. This applies really to anyone, but these things will allow you to free yourself up from the day-to-day -day grind and actually live a life that's more fulfilling. So I always preach to you guys, gain additional streams of income. And this is actually one of my strategies as I go into retirement, I will live off my additional streams of income as well as my investments, where which will allow me to make more money than I did while I was actually working which is a very simple strategy when you talk about finance because that allows you to make your money work for you. Work smarter, not harder, yeah, pretty simple. Let's talk about my first stream of income, barbering, right? Barbering was one way that I made money and it's pretty simple. You cut hair in exchange for money. You know, so it's like you're trading time for money. That's a pretty simple one, barbering. Second stream of income that I have is YouTube, the video that you're watching here. I get paid money through ad revenue. Now look, YouTube is very tricky because there's like an umbrella of things that I can make money through through YouTube, but primarily I make money through ad revenue. Of course, I make money through Super Chats whenever I do live streams, things like this. You know, it's a small, very, very small chunk of money that I make, but the bulk of it is through the ad revenue. And I'll also toss in there the podcast. I'll toss that under the YouTube umbrella. It could be an additional stream of income, but I slightly toss that in under the YouTube umbrella. So really, I'll probably talk about five, but really six if you talk about the podcast. When you talk about the podcast being listed on the podcast and platforms, I get paid additional money from that. I don't really consider it YouTube, but for the sake of this video, I'm putting this under the umbrella of YouTube. So YouTube, number two. Number three. Amazon affiliates. In the description of this video, you'll see links to products that I might use in the video, or if you really look in the description of this video, you'll see a, look, a list of all of the camera equipment, the lights, the microphones, all the little fancy stuff that I use for the channel. All that stuff's links in, in the description. If you look at any of my product reviews, haircut tutorials, um, vlogs, you will see links to the products that I use in the description of that video. And if you guys click on those links and purchase anything, I get a commission as well. In the description, there's a link to shop Amazon. If you copy and paste that link, you, you can use that link to buy whatever it is you like on Amazon. That is my affiliate link. So if you use that link, I get a commission on whatever you buy and that just helps out the channel because not everyone can help out the YouTube channel monetarily by don't, you know, donating money to the channel or things like this. Some, you know, that's just one way you can show your appreciation to the channel. Use my Amazon link, because most people use Amazon. You know, you can smash the like button, you can be active in the comments, helping the YouTube algorithms, and you can just share the videos, you know, help it get more exposure, and of course, in turn, as the channel grows, I will make more money. At least, that's how it should work. Additional stream of income, number four. I have a dividend portfolio. I have a stock portfolio full of dividend stocks. Now, these dividends pay me out, not all of them pay monthly, I have like two that pay out monthly and I do weekly updates on the channel. So if you guys wanna follow my investing journey and see what I'm doing every week with my investments, you could watch those stock portfolio update videos that I have every week. There's a playlist to that and you could check out all of that stuff there. But my dividends, I get paid out dividends around every month and the more I invest, the more amount my monthly dividend income will pay me out. Now, of course, this is also one that I'm actually really planning on using while in retirement and to help me really live the type of lifestyle that I want by living off of my dividend growth investing. Dividends, very important. I, I highly encourage people get involved in stocks or real estate or things like this because it's really gonna help you be financially free and really help you in retirement because you do not wanna work 
until the day you die. You want to have things where you can really passively make money and you don't have to exchange your time for money or your expertise for money. With dividend growth investing is very, very passive income stream and these dividend payments come in every single month from different companies of course but every single month i'm receiving multiples of dividend payments and of course each month those amounts are increasing every single month and it's just a great one just like amazon affiliates that is a very very passive stream of income because all i have to do is copy and paste a link which is in the description below i get a commission and i get to make some money a very very passive stream of income barbering and youtube those are not passive streams of income because I actually have to trade my time in exchange for ad revenue or super chat money or whatever the case is that I might gain from my YouTube channel. So a couple of those are passive, a couple of those are active because I actually got to do some work. Number five guys, number five, Patreon. I have a Patreon page. It's linked in the description below. And what the Patreon is, is ultimately it's like a mentorship. You can sign up to the Patreon if you want to support the channel that way. And I really, because like I mentioned earlier with Super Chat money that I get through live stream donations, I prefer people to just sign up for the Patreon because you can support the channel this way. Also, you get to enjoy some of the videos that are on Patreon. And like I said, it's a mentorship program. I talk about personal finance. I talk about personal development, manhood, things like this. Very important stuff. I also do video requests on Patreon. Unlike here on YouTube, I don't really do video requests, but on Patreon, I do video requests on Patreon. So Patreon, nice little community, and you can sign up there and really and just enjoy the videos. And if you really want a lot of stuff out of life, if you're looking for a mentor things like this because it's a little bit hard for me to reach everyone but I know the people that sign up for the patreon I know those people are serious so patreon number five whoa 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 I just realized something I forgot one of my additional streams of income so technically number six and that additional stream is disability I am a disabled veteran I get about 10% you guys could look online and actually see how much that 10% is. But we're going to do a quick calculation on how much that money that will actually make you if you choose to invest that money over time. You know, veterans get a different amount for each veteran. That all depends. But let's just say I get about $500 a month, which is $6,000 a year. We'll do 20 years growth at 8%, which is very conservative. And we calculate that you're going to make two hundred and ninety six thousand dollars in 20 years if you invest all of your disability money if you make 500 at least right there's plenty of people that give a lot more than 500 dollars a month so veterans out there please 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 do not just blow your disability money make something useful out of it don't just go out and buy a nice car or whatever invest put that money all into an investment account and just have it going in there every month you see the cold hard facts with the numbers this is where your money will end up in 20 years and by the way, guys, that disability money, you get that for your lifetime. As long as you're alive, you get this money. That $500 a month, $1,000 a month, $200 a month, $750 a month, whatever it is, you get that for your lifetime. And you could do this, uh, the quick calculations. This is moneychimp.com if you guys want to go check out this uh, little compound interest calculator. But massive numbers. Massive for retirement. But let me just throw in another source of income that I plan on using later to really help me make money in retirement and actually have me live the type of life that I want. Because let's just be honest, I wanna have houses around the world. I wanna have Lambos on the East Coast and the West Coast. And this little thing is definitely gonna help me do that in retirement. And that is real estate. Currently, of course, we own a house. And we're working diligently on paying this thing off early. And once that moment happens, or once we get close to the moment that we get to pay our house off, we're gonna rent this thing out and actually make really good money off of this house to actually start putting some money back into our pockets. You know, of course, we're paying the interest and we're paying property taxes. We've done upgrades to the house, but of course, we haven't been able to see any of the gains from it. And I mean, let's just be honest, we could sell the house now. The house has appreciated in value probably like 30 or 40,000 since we bought it about three years ago. So could we sell it right now and take a little bit of capital gains tax-free? Yeah, we could, but I would rather hold on to this, keep this piece of real estate within my portfolio where it can actually generate money for me because look, it's a little hard to talk about 
what's gonna happen 10 years from now, but let's just say my house will bring me $2,000 a month in rental income. Or let's say I Airbnb it and let's say I make $30,000, maybe $40,000 a year in profits off of this house. A little hard to do with the stock portfolio unless you have a stock portfolio value, especially if you're talking about dividends, that is really a really high amount to pay you off that much. So we have this piece of real estate, which will actually help us fund other real estate deals and things like this. It's like the snowball effect where you take a snowball, you throw it down a hill, the faster it goes, the longer it goes, it's gonna grow, it's gonna go faster, and it's gonna have so much momentum and build so much weight that it's gonna be really hard to stop. And that's the plan for me in retirement, doing real estate. That is one thing I'm really looking forward to right now, and it's a good way to build wealth, and I always tell people, you know, if you can get into real estate, please get into real estate. It's a really good way to build your wealth and your net worth. It's a really good way to leave a legacy behind and a really good way to make some passive income. To briefly recap, the plan for retirement is having multiple deals in real estate, having houses all around the world one way that I will plan to make money in retirement. My dividend portfolio, another way for me to continue to make money in retirement. The YouTube channel, I'm, I'm pretty sure Google, which you know owns YouTube, they're gonna be around for about 10 years or maybe even more. And I'm pretty sure YouTube, it'll probably go through some different cycles, maybe some different changes, but for the here now, YouTube is gonna be around for 10 years. I'm pretty sure of it. So that will be another stream of income that I have. Now, all of the other streams that I had, I'm still gonna do affiliates, and I'm still gonna do a few other things. But those are gonna be my main sources, and these things are gonna allow me to live the life that I want. And this is how passive income and additional streams of income, and how important they really are for your financial freedom and your financial future. It allow you to free your time up. You don't have to worry about doing all this, because I always tell people, Having one income is too close to broke. By the way, guys, just want to let you know, I didn't quit barbering. I was just messing with you. We'll actually see who actually stuck around to this point of the video, but I didn't quit barbering. I'm still going strong. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope maybe it triggers some ideas in your mind about how important it is to have additional streams of income, different passive uh, income ideas. There's plenty of them out there, guys. Trust me on this. There's plenty of them. Those are just a few that I do. And of course, I'm always looking to create some additional streams of income. If you guys got some that are pretty easy, drop them in the comments below. But if you got anything out of this, don't forget to smash the like, subscribe, and share this video. It's been your man. I do a sign out. I'll holla.